Hi guys, my name is Gavin, and today I'll be showing you how to um, rotate the character left and right with your mouse instead of um, the keyboard sensors. Um, I will be using Python, and I'm just going to get started. So to start off, let's right click on our camera and hit X delete. And right click on this light and hit X delete. I'm then going to go from defaults to game logic and go from blender render to blender game. Next, let's right click on our cube right here. Now I'm going to add a mouse sensor like that. I'm going to rename it to mouse all lowercase. Now let's change it from left button to movement. And I'll minimize this. Next, what I'm going to do is do add controller Python right here and connect these. Now let's do add actuator and then let's do motion and connect these right here as well. Next, let's um, name this from motion to ROTZ. And that really, we look good. All right, next, what I'm going to do is do templates Python and then game logic simple like that. I'm going to delete this part right here. Next, I'm going to hit control and scroll up on my mouse to make my text larger. And I'm going to rename this to mouse rotation. .py, .py, sorry. I'm going to add that right here. Next, let's define our mouse sensor and our ROTZ actuator by doing ROTX. Our Z is going to equal onto actuators, ROTZ. And let's have mouse is going to equal um, content sensors, mouse. Next, what we're going to do is activate our ROTZ actuator by doing content activates ROTZ. At the top of our script, let's import a couple of things. Let's do from VGE imports render, and from Matthew Tills imports vector, like that. All right, below this, what we're going to do is activate or um, is get um, our screen sensor position by doing x is going to equal render dot gets window width that and then y is going to equal render dot gets window height like that and next what we're going to do is do screen center is going to equal and in parentheses let's have x comma y and below this let's have center is going to equal vector and screen center like that below this let's get our mouse position as a vector as well by doing mouse position is going to equal vector and mouse dot position make sure that the mouse right here is also the same as um what you defined your mouse sensor in the script all right and now what we're going to do is get our offset so let's have offset is going to equal mouse position minus center. And that's going to be all in parentheses. And we're going to multiply that by negative 0.002. So times negative 0.002. And below this, let's rotate our cube. Um, let's act, so well, let's rotate our cube using that offset by using our ROTZ actuator. So let's do ROTZ is going to equal rotz.drot, sorry, is going to equal 0, 0, and let's do um, offset.x. And below this, let's set the mouse position back to the middle by doing render.setMousePosition. Let's do x, y. At the top of our script now, let's do one more thing, which is make the mouse visible by doing render.showMouse1. All right, I'll now go over my script just one more time since this is a longer script than normal. Minimize this. So at the top of our script, we've got our, um, our sensors and actuators. We're going to activate the actuator. We're going to get the individual X and Y coordinates. And then we're going to get them in a screen center point and then get a vector of that center point. We're then also going to get a vector of our mouse position. And we're going to subtract them. So pretty much if, there, if there's a subtle difference between where our mouse position is and where the screen center is, it's going to rotate our cube that way. Then we're going to activate the, um, then we're going to actually rotate the cube in our script, and then we're going to set the mouse position back to the middle to reset it. So if I hit play now, we should see that when I rotate our cube, it's going to move left and right. So if I move it right, it's going to turn right. If I move it left, it's going to turn left. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. But for the time being, thanks for watching and have a good day.